Last week, we shared a report of a kiwi grower in the Fresno County area who, by using DRI, had reduced his water use by 51.6%. The week before, we had talked about an almond grower in the Fresno area who had reduced his water use by using DRI over 60%. This week, we're talking about a wine grape grower in the Monterey County area of California who has reduced his water use by 60% by using deep root irrigation. If you're a grower looking for serious solutions to serious problems, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel. This series is going to be ongoing. We want to show you many growers in many different locations with many different crop types who are all enjoying dramatic successes using deep root irrigation. Let's get to the report on the Monterey County Pinot Noir grapes. Again, I'd like to break this information down for you in three easy to understand segments. Number one, water use difference. You could see here that the Pinot Noir grapes on drip are using 2.5 gallons per hour. Uh, that's two one gallon per hour emitters with a one half gallon per hour emitter. And on DRI, they were only using one one gallon per hour emitter with a total of 60% water use reduction. Number two, comparative soil moisture. The soil moisture readings here were taken by a rep using a handheld soil moisture probe. He got three different readings, one at 12 inches, one at 24 inches, and one at 30 inches. 30 inches was as deep as the probe would go. As you can see, he got four different readings on DRI vines, four different readings on the control vines, which are the drip vines. Uh, as you can see, the numbers are a little bit higher uh, for the drip at 12 inches, which you would expect because, again, they're dripping 60% more water on the surface of the ground. At 24 and 30 inches, the numbers are actually very comparable. Again, though, using 60% less water. Look at some of these numbers at DRI at 24 inches. You got 80, 86, 66, 80, and it's with a total average of about 78. And, you know, at 24 inches on drip, you're 81, 80, 68, 88, with a total average of 79.25. At 30 inches, looks like DRI averaged about 80.5 in soil moisture. And at 30 inches, drip averaged at about 78.5. Again, that was DRI using 60% less water. The monitoring that the reps do goes a long way to helping the customer understand DRI and its performance and gives the customer that control over how much water to deliver. The great thing about DRI is that you could add as little or as much water as you want. But the key word here is control. Number three, comparative plant health. As you can see, the vines irrigated by DRI and the vines irrigated by drip both look good. So do and fruit. The fruit on DRI and the fruit on drip both look good. The leaf analysis from Fruit Growers Lab shows that there's no significant difference in nutrient levels with the vines irrigated by DRI compared to the vines irrigated by drip. And what's really significant about that is that there's been no change in the parts per water for fertigation. So this grower hasn't made any adjustments to his fertilizer blend. In other words, his 60% reduction of water use for DRI also translates to a 60% reduction in his fertilizer use. Imagine what that's doing to his bottom line. In summary, the effectiveness of DRI to target deliver water and nutrients directly to the root zone has given this grape grower more control over his irrigation and fertigation than he's ever had before. If you're a grower who wants more control over your growing operation, Contact us at that website below. Let's get you hooked up with one of our reps. Let's get you started on this. And hit that subscribe button below. And until next time, take care.